Use of water in some of these is very efficient. Drip irrigation systems are intended to supply water to the plant's root zones in a direct and immediate manner, decreasing water wastage while simultaneously improving water utilization efficiency. When compared to other types of irrigation, such as sprinklers or flood irrigation, drip irrigation can save up to half as much water as those other methods. Increased product of the crops. Drip irrigation systems can improve crop yield by providing a consistent and precise amount of water to the crops, thereby avoiding the stress caused by overwatering or underwatering. Drip irrigation systems can also deliver fertilizers and pesticides through the water, thereby enhancing plant growth and health. As a result, drip irrigation can increase crop yield by as much as 100% in comparison to other irrigation methods. Reduced soil erosion. Drip irrigation systems prevent soil erosion by minimizing runoff and leaching of nutrients and chemicals from the soil. Drip irrigation also preserves soil structure and organic matter by avoiding soil compaction and crusting, both of which can occur as a result of other irrigation methods that have been adapted to desert conditions. Drip irrigation techniques are excellent choices for the harsh conditions of the desert, such as sandy or rocky soils, high temperatures, low rainfall and salty water. Additionally, drip irrigation can work with low-pressure or gravity-fed systems, thereby reducing the need for pumps and electricity. Additionally, drip irrigation can use brackish or recycled water, thereby expanding the sources of water available for agricultural use. And finally, drip irrigation can work with low-pressure or gravity-fed systems, thereby reducing the need for pumps and electricity. Production of a wide variety of crop strip irrigation systems give farmers the ability to cultivate a diverse range of crops in arid environments, including fruits, vegetables, flowers, herbs and spices. Agroforestry and forestation initiatives are two other endeavours that can benefit from drip irrigation. Israel is also known for its use of the innovative method of fertigation. Fertigation is a method of irrigation that combines water and fertilisers in a precise and efficient way. It is believed that fertigation helped Israel overcome its desert and water problem by increasing crop productivity, saving water and nutrients, and reducing environmental pollution. The following are some of the benefits and achievements of fertigation in Israel. Productivities of crops. By applying water and nutrients in accordance with the particular requirements of each crop, soil and climate, Fertigational House Farm promotes crop growth quality and production. For instance, fertigation has boosted the yield of tomatoes by 40%. In Israel, fertigation has increased yields of bell peppers by 50%, melons by 60%, and cotton by 25%. Additionally, fertigation improves the quality of fruits and vegetables by improving their size, colour, flavour and shelf life. Fertigation also enables farmers to cultivate crops in arid and saline soils which would not otherwise be suitable for agriculture. For instance, fertigation has enabled farmers to cultivate dates, grapes, olives and other crops in the Negev desert where rainfall is scarce and soil salinity is high. Additionally, fertigation assists crops in coping with drought and heat stress by maintaining optimal soil moisture and nutrient levels. Conserving both water and nutrients. Irrigation by means of fertigation is an efficient use of water since it cuts down on the amount of water lost to evaporation, runoff and leaching. As was said earlier, fertigation makes use of drip irrigation. Additionally, fertigation conserves nutrients by administering them in small dosages that are proportional to the pace at which plants take them up. This lowers the amount of nutrient loss that occurs as a result of leaching, volatilization and denitrification. When compared to conventional farming practices, fertilization has the potential to reduce fertilizer use by up to 40%. Fertigation also enables farmers to employ organic fertilizers like compost and manure, which are more sustainable and cost-effective than chemical fertilizers. Compost and manure are examples of organic fertilizers. The protection of the environment. The use of fertigation helps to safeguard the environment by reducing the amount of water and nutrients that are wasted, hence reducing the amount of pollution that is caused. The use of fertigation lessens the likelihood that nitrates, phosphates, pesticides and salts may contaminate groundwater, surface water and soil. Additionally, fertigation lowers the amount of energy needed to pump water and produce fertilizers, which in turn results in less emissions of greenhouse gases. The creation of habitats for wildlife in desert locations is another way that fertigation encourages biodiversity. 
For instance, fertigation has created an oasis of greenery in the Negev Desert, which is home to a variety of animals and plants, including birds, insects, reptiles and mammals. In addition, Thrive Fertilization is supportive of organic farming, which maintains healthy soil and employs natural pest control. The combination of originality and teamwork fertigation is the product of creative thinking and collaborative effort on the part of Israeli farmers, researchers, entrepreneurs, policy officials and groups representing civil society. Israel has created a variety of technologies and tactics to maximize fertigation for different types of crops, soils, climates and markets. For instance, Israel has developed sensors at drones, satellites, artificial intelligence and decision support systems to monitor and control fertigation remotely. Israel is also responsible for the development of novel crop varieties that are suited for fertigation in arid environments. Additionally, Israel provides its knowledge and experience on fertigation to other countries who are confronted with issues that are comparable to its own. Israel's Agency for International Development Cooperation in addition to the Center of International Agriculture Development Cooperation and AgriVest, are just a few examples of the many programs and platforms that have been established by Israel in order to facilitate the exchange of information and the strengthening of capacities with African nations. An annual conference on Agritech Innovation and Agritech, a biennial exposition on agricultural technology through various programs and platforms, an annual conference on Agritech Innovation and Agritech. These activities help foster mutual understanding and are provided by Israel in the form of training, consulting, technology transfer, research collaboration and investment opportunities for African farmers, entrepreneurs, researchers and policymakers. Innovation, cooperation and development in the fertigation industry through the application of cutting-edge technologies and forward-thinking policies, Israel has turned its dry land into a fruitful and active territory that can feed its inhabitants and export its products. And it has done this by sharing its expertise and experience on fertigation with our other countries that are facing issues that are comparable to its own.